a place that um, all the energy that's in my body is not just music. It's so many other things, and I um, had to express that some kind of way. And I started with a site that was Global 14 before it be became a social network. It was just a blog. And um, I was posting, you know, cars, fashion, girls, <coughs> sneakers, um, art, whatever, that, that the things that I liked. And, and what I started noticing was that it was a group of people that started following what I was doing and they was responding and writing messages and creating um, um, this dialogue between me and basically what I've always been told as a consumer, but I've always had someone in between me tell me these people don't like my music or they do love it or this, that, and the third. So it actually became a place where I cut out the middleman and I got directly to the people and the sources that were selling me. And I just kept paying attention to it and putting more and more energy into the blog and the people started giving me that, that much energy back. And I, and I said, um, I could make, I believe I could make my own social network and everybody around me was like, no, you can't. Um, nobody's ever done that, and nobody else was going in and just use Twitter and use these other places. So I started using these other places, like everybody was saying, and my attempt to do things on these sites that I wanted to do weren't, I wasn't able to do. Um, and that really started forcing me to build this in my mind of what I wanted it to be, and collectively, I just collected, constantly collected thoughts and created what we see behind me, Global 14. It was MySpace was basically the beginning of me trying to figure this out, right? And and on MySpace, you couldn't directly send a message to as many people as you, or they, you couldn't, they called it posting a bulletin or something like that, right? And what I found out is that people, on, people didn't read those bulletins, they was just, for one, it was on another page that wasn't on the main page that you wanted to be on. And um, it was mostly about looking at pictures and girls posting pictures and da, da, this, that, and third. It wasn't really a communication place. It was more of people just posting flyers. And, and I wanted to get information to people and get information back. And that was the beginning of me saying, okay, well, this one doesn't do what I wanted to do. And then I had this whole built thing in my mind of what Twitter was before I got on Twitter. I just kept hearing about Twitter that this is a place where it's a feed for only people that really are your followers and you can talk to them and they talk back to you and that's it, right? That's what I thought it was until I got on there and I realized that it's not that, that's not what it is. And nor is it a place where you can keep a conversation going. Um, so as soon as I got on Twitter, I started writing things that I thought people that was following me should know, right? And then I started realizing that the next three people that responded was talking about something I talked about two days ago. And I'm like, wait a minute, we're losing communication here because I'm talking, about, yeah, I'm talking about something else today. But I realized that Twitter wasn't set up to continue to communication. So that was two. And then it was YouTube. And then YouTube was a big part of what I was doing because I post videos. I post these vlogs every day of me being on the road and doing things. And in the YouTube lane, you can post the videos and people can comment. But you comment back, there was no notification to them when you would comment. So if only if they come back to the video weeks later would they see that I said something or vice versa. Was no, you know. So that was another way that I was like, okay, this is not direct, constant confirmation. I mean, no, con 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 constant um talk. So I'm like, yo, I need, I need to create something that does what I want this one to do, what I want this one to do, and what I want this one to do. So the kids on the site created this place called Pump and the Dump It, where they encourage the artists that come on the site to put their music into this place so that it could be talked about. And the people in the, in the group can say Pump It or Dump It, and you, you feel good about yourself because I feel like it's a problem that I would be mad if I posted my music on all these sites and never got any kind of feedback. You know what I mean? I see it all day. Like today, I was saying this about everybody in this room, by the way, is going to get subtweeted by somebody that you don't know that's got a mixtape or a rap or something. Everybody. If you tweeted about coming in here, you're going to get a mixtape today. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the, my point about this is that you're not going to respond to them. And I don't know what enjoyment they get out of that. Like, why would you even do it? What's the purpose? But they believe, they have brainwashed to believe that this is what they're supposed to
supposed to do, even though it doesn't work, right? So here, we gave them a place where if you want to post your music, post your music, it's a group of people that will be in that room, and they will tell you if your music is good or if it's bad. And if it's good, it then surfaces to, Jay, you should check this out. And the kids that run the site, I mean, that run that, that group, they tell me. And I listen to them. It's not about JD. It's not the JD site that's going to promote all of my music 100% of the time, and that's what you think it's going to be. It's about, it's about bettering whatever it is that you have to offer to people that actually like what you have. If the people don't like what you have on this site, then they're going to let you know. Whether it be music, clothes, whatever it is. I think somebody was on there trying to get people to sign up to one of those deals where they can make money over the internet, and like everybody on the site just was killing this person. Like, Get out of here, we don't want this over here. You know, they have this mindset that these, these kids that that they believe, you know what I mean? And they, they're into things. And if you if you post art, I know like one day a guy had came and he was an artist and he started posting things and people was like encouraging him to post more. Like, we want to see more of your art, where can we buy it from? It's definitely the definition of like. That's the that's what Global 14 is. It's the like button, really a big version of the like button. If you like the things that interest me and they interest you, then this is the place you should be. Um, well, I think for me, you have, to, you have to learn your power in social media, because that's the, that's the key of social media. Like, my thing is that what I learned about me doing this is that I said one day to a couple of kids, I said, listen, if you didn't know who Mark Zuckerberg was from Facebook, right, and you put a dinner table in the middle of the floor, and you put another dinner table in the middle of the floor, and you set me at that dinner table, and you set him at that dinner table, and you ask the people coming in the door which table they want to be at, everybody would want to be at my table. That's my power. <laughs> right? That's, that's the power that I have. And once I figured that out, that he don't have that power that I have. That's not a JD Gets Facebook thing, but this is the power that I have to, to differently than most people that will create these sites. And what you have to do is you gotta learn how to use that power. And that's basically what I'm doing. I'm basically using that power to, to my advantage that I know that other people don't have. The guys that make Twitter, they don't know where I carry personally. They don't even, I mean, Justin Bieber tried to sign with me before he was even signed. So I know him personally. I can call him right now and get y'all on the phone and everybody in this room. Because what that means is, what that means is that these guys have to ask this man, and they gotta ask somebody else, and they gotta go through a manager to even get to these people. I don't have to do none of that. I can get everybody that I want on the site immediately, which gives people a different, a closer, if they wanna be, type of advantage by being a part of it. And it's just like, you know, it's just like being, really what it is, is like, you're really my friend. If you're my friend, nine times out of 10, Usher's gonna shake your hand. The 14 cities in 14 days was actually a, a meet and greet, an opportunity for the members to actually meet other members in cities that they, they probably didn't even know the people were there. But they see these people every day, or they talk to people every day, but then, you know, when I created this, it was people saying, oh, you from Chicago? Yeah, I'm from Chicago, I'm gonna be there. Or I'm from Detroit, you know what I mean? So it's like people start meeting, and then it's like the branding side, I, I, I uh, branded the situation with, with Crown Royal, they were the sponsor of the tour. And you know, free liquor. Party. <laughs> I mean, hey, everybody gonna come out and have a good time. Um, so there was, you know, people came out and it was, you know, it was a success. People actually, well, it took a minute for me to get Crown Royal to even understand what I was saying because um, I wasn't actually asking to do parties. I do, I swear, I want to do meet and greets, like things that you do at like a cocktail party. And this is what I wanted to do at first. And then people it just started turning. It just got bigger and bigger, and the venues got bigger and. You know, without me having anything to do with it, it was just like it turned into something differently. And then in the, in the spring, we're going to do the West Coast. And um, my plan is that the more the site continues to grow, I'm just going to keep doing 1414s all over the place because it's going to become massive. You know, there's kids on this site now asking in London and overseas, when is 1414 coming here? So, you know, I got to figure that out.